A winter of raging storms has taken its toll on Long Island's shoreline. One glaring example right here in Port Jefferson Village. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports some recently installed erosion measures have washed away. A jewel in Port Jefferson Village, a country club with stunning Long Island Sound views. But a bird's eye view shows the catering facility and tennis courts precariously close to a 100 foot high eroding bluff. And recent work to shore up the bluff has taken a big hit. After a huge rainstorm, it, it is heartbreaking to see that. In storm after recent storm, large swaths of the $5 million in soil, burlap, and new plantings that were supposed to anchor the bluff got eaten away. Mayor Lauren Shepro is not deterred. She believes the second phase of the work to install steel underpinning, costing the village another $5 million, is a needed fix to save a property voters chose to purchase back in the 1970s. Our community utilizes this facility in, in many, many ways, and um, it's something that we are committed to and something we don't want to see anything happen to. But it's a community divided, says Myrna Gordon, who would rather see the building torn down and a new one put up out of harm's way. You're talking about monies that are being put into a, a piece of property where it's not going to be saved. Based on the increasing volume of storms that are happening with climate change. It's a debate that's cropping up across Long Island and the nation. At what cost do we try to save what Mother Nature's seems to want her way. We have technology to slow down erosion, but there are debatable costs, says this Stony Brook University scientist. If you value some some benefit of the shoreline enough, you can armor yourself against it and it's kind of like treating the disease, not, not solving the problem. Mayor Shepro says the treatment is needed now before it's too late. In Port Jefferson, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.